do vacations. And we're out and about today, especially this morning. We are at the Chuck and Cook-Off. Marie and I, how are you? I'm very good. You looking ready for this? Yeah, yeah, looking forward to this. Very, yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. This is great. This is, we are experiencing Americana. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Oh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, Marie is doing video. She's getting herself all set up. She's quite the videographer now. Yeah. You have to have your mask. Yeah, you just... No, I'm both nonsense. <laughs> Absolute nonsense. Look at that. All right. Okay, let's flip this around because you don't want to see my mug. Oh, there we go. Okay. Her out. I unchained her from the pipe. Right. Who are you? Pat Thompson. Pat Thompson. In Olivia, the out of Savannah, Georgia. Pleasure to meet you too. Little too. town called Guy. Oh, I've never been there. Yeah. Well, you need to come to Savannah. Uh, I've been to Savannah. Savannah. Savannah's a really big city. Oh yeah. Uh, but I've never been. Gikes. Guyton, it's a little small town. I've never heard of it. Eighteen hundred. I'll have to. Eighteen hundred. Yeah, yeah. There's more people here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's a tiny little town. Yeah, a little small. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. That's Americana. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Yeah. That's why we're here today. That's why we, we come all the way up here from down there just oh, to see chuck wagons. It, isn't this cool? It this is. is the last, I mean, the only one of its kind. That's right. And that's that's sad. This should be all over the United we're States. We're signing up for next year already. Oh, good for you. <laughs> they still got food because I know they're all sold out here. Well, we just bought our tickets. You got the overflow, they call that. The extra. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm. We didn't know you could have went online and got them. Um, I mentioned that yesterday. You must yeah. not have been watching. Well, I wasn't yesterday. <laughs> Oh, you're already here? Yeah. yeah. Very good. So you watch them all get everything all... I watched you at the house back home. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Now you... Oh, you're traveling through town and thank showing you. you where to go and stuff. Yeah. This is what I do. That's what she does it's here. Great. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you guys watching. You, 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 you make it. I'm coming over there to talk with them. We're coming back next year. This is a great town, isn't it? Oh, it is. Thank you. And you'll see yourself there. Well, and I spent... Anyone you want to say hello to? We spent to? about $600 at the lodge outlet. Did you really? Oh, yeah. We always do. Man, you got a lot of cooking stuff then, I'm assuming. Do. do you do a lot of this? It's addictive. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love camping. Yeah, so like, like, that yeah. smell I alone. Got, I got the same setup. Th that to me is, that's right. what I like, that smell. Right. That campfire oh, yeah. thing, there's nothing like it. Nothing like it. You know? It. I wish up at the cabin I could throw logs in, right. but you can't. You got to have the propane. They don't want logs. Sure. You know how it is. This place was burned down oh, to the ground yeah. not too long. Very good. Thank you for talking I mean, with look us. At, look at, uh, I mean, they ain't well, burning the tent down. It's no, right over the top of the it's fire. It's all about common sense, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, how many years have you been cooking? Do you ever have a fire go out of control? No. No, of course not. Of course not. We and are. we're live right now, you know that. Oh, no. Not yeah, live. yeah. We're That's live. Good. Yeah, she's taping. I'll I'm watch live. it when we get home. Yeah, it'll come up again. Okay, cool. Come up again. cool. I'm glad to meet you. You're the first ones we met today. Well, great. Very good. Yeah, I've been watching you. Thank you. She called me the YouTube king of the house. Yeah. Oh. Retired from and, and you're years. a wonderful, how long have you been married? Uh, 38, 39 this year. And you put up with him that long? Yeah. And vice versa. <laughs> I was waiting for a guy to say <laughs> that. You now you're in the doghouse, That's right? right. So it, Always. Uh, I guess you're going to live in the tent tonight. Uh, would, just, it, it would be no wouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah. No, I'd curl right up in there, sleeping no, bag. We love, we love camping. Oh, yeah, nothing like it. That's the life, camping life. Thanks, guys. Thank you. This is wonderful. You behind me? Okay. Just look at you. Look at you. This is how it was. There's, I wish you could smell this. This is the smell of camp firing, camping, trail riding in the 1800s. Here is, this is wonderful. And I don't know if you've got all this, but you got to catch all this. This is basically a Walmart on wheels. This literally is a Walmart. There's the spice box. There's the lantern. And this was m probably my favorite thing on the wagon was the coffee grinder. And all of this stuff has to work in order for them to get the points they need to win the, the competition. So he showed me yesterday, this is the little cup and that's where the, the coffee goes in the top. You grind it, dee, 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 and it goes, comes out the bottom. Absolutely wonderful. Lanterns all have to work. Now, this is just too cool for cool. They have all their tools. 
when you travel on the road or you travel on the trail, you've got to pretty much have everything you need in order to survive. The big frying pans, the extra rope, the obligatory Indian arrow that got shot into the side. <laughs> they got to have that. There's the arrow. Because there were, it, it was very brutal in those days. You, um, you, you had the danger of running into death at every corner, every mile. The opportunity to be killed was, was very common. A very rough life. And he has his guns up top there, and pretty much this is how they would live and travel. They would have their little tents. Sometimes, uh, depending on weather, they would actually live in in the wagon itself. But for the most part, you set up a little canvas. He had one here yesterday. I guess he took it down. Beautiful. How are you today, again? Doing good. You look great. Everybody looks fantastic. Unbelievable. How did you do yesterday? Oh, not until the end of it all? Here's the campfire. They're cooking. This is the actual food that you guys... You're preparing it now, aren't you? Yep. What are you making? Got beans going in this pot. Beans, and what else is in there? Oh, a little bit of this, a little, little bit of that. Bit of, okay, and spices. Yep. How much do you make of this, two pots? Yep, we got two pots of beans going. How do you know when it's done? Taste it. Okay, and there's no time limit. It says two hours, it says you guys are done. Well, we've got till let's turn. Oh, they should cook good down oh, yeah. by the. Oh, yeah, nice, nice, flavorful. Kind of simmering now. Yeah, I could smell it. <laughs> it came came around that way. I'm going to buy the beans. <laughs> and how much of that did you drink this morning? The coffee. Oh, oh. Well, I, that'd be the first thing. As soon as I bed, I'd be drinking that coffee. That's one heck of a coffee pot. Do you ever use it? Oh yeah. yeah. You do. If there's more people around, but. We had some coffee and went a whole lot of people up this early, so. We're here. <laughs> What's your name? Matt Hamilton. Matt, pleasure to meet you. You look the part. Everything is great. How long have you been doing this? I don't know. I'm just here helping my friend. <laughs> there, we're live again. There's a few dead spots here, and I apologize for that. But they're working hard. These guys are working hard. Now we're located at Claybaugh's campground. This is in uh, Pigeon, 